right now we have this system here where we when we click we come to this place and but we can't find what we're looking for so we just need to get the id and read what we actually need here so in here we need to use both the user class and the class model so i'm just going to duplicate this and say classes like so and this one will be the classes model like so okay so we want to read from the user user id but let me duplicate this move it there so this is the row for the data this one is going to be the row for the user so i'm just going to say row user because we need to know who created the class and this one will be the row for the class itself so classes here will be what we will use so i'm going to put this one here like so uh, yes so instead of user id this one is going to be class id so we are reading from all classes and we just want the class id which will, should be the same as id and then if the row worked so let me remove that if the row worked which is the same as here we're just going to bunch these together because it's the same if statement after all we're just going to say row user is equal to user first and i want to use the row here copy that so we want to get the user id and we want to use the row user id like so underscore id like that and then i will add the row and i will also add the row user so copy this and hmm, because it's very possible that uh, if that doesn't work this won't work either so i'm just going to copy this and put it here set it to an empty array just to avoid errors because if the the result here is false then we won't set this one and then it's going to cause an error once we try to assign it here row user and row user here as well okay so what i could do instead instead of doing all this is i could add a um where is this um if i go to the class model okay so we do actually have the after select which is get user and if i go down here where is that get user okay so it actually exists the part where we can get a user id so i'm just going to ignore that one and let me see what we get here it's going to be user okay that's okay and what was i looking for here in the mod itself core model there's the first function that we added this one right here so i just want to confirm after select okay so that's all good it means it's going to work so back to our single class controller it means i don't need to do this so we're going to remove that and we don't need the user uh, model as well so user 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 we don't need that either okay so we are good to go let me come back here and let's refresh all right so the fact that we're seeing all this means we did get a result and that is all good so the only information we want from a class really is its name and uh, the user and the date that it was created that's really what we want so class id not important the school id not important just the user and yeah so three things so let's go and uh, change that so that's classes view.php no we want one where it's a single class so that's single class view 
All right, so what I want to do is change all this here. So instead of first name, it's going to be class name. And here we're going to change to class. So first name, last name, that's okay. So I'm going to change this to class. And then the other thing is created by, which is what we are putting here already. So I'll delete all of these except the date created, like so. Okay, so at this point, this is row last name, row not very uh, good information here. So what I'll do is let me duplicate the name and create it by, like so, created uh, by. And then right here, I will copy all of this. Just cut that and put it here. So not on this one. Okay, so it seems I had, uh, yeah, something like this. Okay, so that's all good. We don't need an image here or this really. So I'm going to remove this entire div here. So we have this div now and uh, what else do we have? Basic info. So this is all good. Back here, let's see what we have. Okay, so less errors is a good sign. But we have, um, let me remove this div right here. I want this to be the, to not share space with anything else. So let me move that like so. So it's a table throughout here. So refresh. Okay, so there we go. Now let's look at this complaint here. Image on line 10. So let's go to line 10, which is right here. And uh, if we roll, okay, so let's remove all that. We don't need the image thingy. Let's see some more errors, shall we? Okay, so we have class name, second class created by date. So created by has an issue. So first name and last name, undefined property. Hmm. Okay, and that's because we need to go through user here. Remember that once we load uh, a result, we created a function that creates a user row. So that's what we need to use in between there. So it's row user first name. So refresh and that should do the job. So class name, that's the class. And then we'll leave these tabs here because we need them. So we don't need, we don't really need basic info for the class. What we need is, let's see here, a minute. This is uh, fluid. Let me see if I remove this fluid thingy here. What will happen? Refresh, okay, yeah. I wanted it to fill a little bit more space. Okay, so in a class, the information we want is, first of all, how many, we want to see the students there. We want to see the staff members there, which is the lecturers the students and the tests so this is what we need here so right when we load this what we want to see is probably the lecturers so i'm just going to say lecturers or teachers depending on your situation then instead of classes we're going to need um, students and then tests will remain as it is. So back here, let's refresh, and this is what we should have. So list of lecturers, list of students, and list of tests. Now, maybe the class name should be a little bit bigger. You may want to put it on top of the table somewhere here, maybe H5 and then put your class name, which you can do just by copying this to there, like so. Let's refresh. Okay, so second class, but then let's use UC words. UC, actually, I need that escape in there, so I will add to it UC words, not first, but words, so that each separate word is capitalized like this 
and let's come back and refresh so second class it's up to you you can make this bigger let's put h4 maybe or you can remove it since the information is repeated here but uh, it's always good to have a title at the very top there maybe we also need to center it so let me just do the center and move this to the end there like so so back here and refresh okay so second class class name blah 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 lecturers students and tests okay so we have what we need here now we know uh, the lecturers that will be here first of all the one that created it is uh, actually this is just the creator I think we can leave that be what we need is just lecturers students and uh, yes tests now the students that will appear here are the students that were added by the the lecturers okay so students tests all right so this is all we need let me go back to classes here and go to first class okay so this is the first class good back here second class good okay so that's all right this is what we need for now all i want now is for us to be able to differentiate between the tabs here when we have a different tab then this one will be active so to do that is very simple let me show you that just a minute so as you can see here we have these tabs and this one is active so if i move this active to the next one like here like students uh, if i now refresh you see that students is the one that's selected and so on so in order to make this work we just have to create a mode so what i will do is go to single class.php and add mode here and change this to mode or we can call it page underscore tab just so we know exactly what we're talking about so so what we will look for is a get variable called tab so i'm just going to say page tab is equal to if is a set so we just want to check if something in the get variable uh, called uh, tab is set and if it is then we're going to set the value to that particular tab like so otherwise um, we can add a default tab which is let's see here lecturers right so that way lecturers is always first lecturers like so okay so lecturers is a tab default so all we need to do now is go to the single view tab and simply activate the correct one so what i need is to put some space here and then put an if statement like so an echo which will say if page tab because we know page tab will exist uh, page tab is equal to if it is equal to lecturers like so okay let's put that question mark then we want it to echo active like this and then put a full colon otherwise just echo some empty string and close that like this okay so this is all good that's all we need for this i'll copy that and paste it here now make sure you leave spaces on the sides here because once you echo the active if you don't leave a space it will merge with this one and that won't be good so let me paste here and let's let me just paste here as well so here we'll change this to students and then we'll change this one to tests like so okay and that's all we need really so I will come back here and oh actually that's not all we need we need to be able to change the URL here and so what we will do is um, where there's an href here right 
let's come back here for a second uh, we need this very URL but with a um, so that URL we can get from the uh, classes view here which is right uh, here where is it uh, not an add yeah right here this one with single class row class ID that's the one so copy that come back to single class view and let's add that there now this will get quite long so anyway let's just paste it there now it has the href as well so let me come back and get only what i need which is just the root copy there come back here and the paste okay so i have the root added there single class and then the current row plus the class id now just right at the end here after everything is set i'll put a question mark and then say um tab is equal to and this one will send us to lecturers lecturers i hope that's the spelling so once i get that i can just copy this and paste it on the others only to change the mode here tab is equal to students and this tab here will be equal to tests okay so hopefully uh you have gotten that one so refresh so obviously we go to lectures now if i click here we go to students if i click here we go to test so you see they are changing as we click like this okay but if you notice the content itself isn't changing but that's not a big deal we're going to handle that in the next video